Hey, it's Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I make videos on all things lifestyle on a budget and I, I mean, at this point, I want to become an investigative journalist. This video is like six plus months in the making. Back in January, I was like, wouldn't it be great if by summertime, I was like bikini ready and then I could share the products that I was using and be like, okay, this definitely works. Um, mm -hmm. This video, I'm going to give you the breakdown on the products that I've been using products that I've seen out on social media that are claiming to be like the best thing ever, that are super fast. So if you've got the dark spots, you've got the hyperpigmentation, let me take you on a journey throughout my year of what I've been using and how it all really went down. Before y'all start even typing these letters out, I've already used the PFB chrome light, whatever you want to call it thing. I used that years ago, did not see results. I did see that the area like dried out and like started to peel and stuff like that, but it did not show me any sort of amazing signs so that was out already I did all the oils i have another brand of oils that i tried out recently and i'll give a review on that too done the daily exfoliating in between um shaving and waxing and all that and i do just in general like give that a thumbs up because that's just going to help you know manually exfoliate the area i've used glycolic acid i've used aj and bha pads as well i just wanted to put that out there before someone is like you should have used that pfb man if that works for you, like, I'm really happy for you because that's the goal. I want everyone to just actually find the solution that makes them the most comfortable and they live their best life. That did, didn't work for me. Now let me share what my routine was with these products I'm gonna be talking about. I'm gonna start off with the one that I was really interested in. I've tried this like years ago, but then I don't remember what happened, so I tried it again. So Kojic Acid Soap has been super popular. People swear by it. They swear by it for their acne, for dark spots. Why do I keep saying dark spars? dark spots <laughs> so i hopped on amazon i got one it's right here it came in actually a two pack now i will say this is kojic acid and glutathione the glutathione supposedly was supposed to be like slightly gentler but i liked that it had like dual opportunities this is where we're at um this is the same bar that i had since the beginning i got this bar back in april what i did notice in some of the reviews is that people were saying that you can't use kojic acid like just forever and ever and ever you're supposed to like take breaks or something like that because it could end up not working 90 days is suggested to use and then take a break and then restart it so i got this back in april i went out of town from june to july um for a gig so i was like that's perfect i'll just use it every day up until that gig and then i'll take a break another tip that i saw that was really helpful was that people were saying that if you apply and let it sit on the skin that will help it get a chance to, you know, get deeper, all of that. I would apply it to my bikini area, and the way I would let it sit is I would be face away from the shower, but I would also, in that time, wash my face. It actually helps me because I end up washing my face for longer, which is, like, supposedly what you're supposed to do as well because that just helps it get, like, a deep clean. So I would, in that time, take my time washing my face or, like, shaving my underarms or something that was faced away from the water so that it wouldn't just like rinse off right away. So I was like, okay, this is a good strategy. So it, it gets on, it stays on. The only times I didn't use it was after I was waxing or shaving. So I used it April to mid-June. And then once I got back in end of July, I started using it again and now it's September. This wasn't the only thing that I used because I was really trying to go for it. I would also then go in with some topicals that I am not certified to say <laughs> if you should be doing this, but I was just like, well, if these topicals say that they're good for hyperpigmentation, dark spots, scars, you know, on your face, on your body, then maybe it could be used in your bikini area. It's the same way that years ago, I think I was using the um, glycolic acid and I was trying to see if that would work. If you choose to do these things, you're doing it at your own risk. This is just me being like, let's just see. I decided since I had them lying around to try out azelaic acid and mandelic acid. Now azelaic and mandelic are always the ones that get advertised as better for sensitive skin or they, they do lighten the scars, but they're just better, they're not as potent. Since I was already using kojic acid, I was like, well, let me follow up with something that's a little bit gentler and not try to go like acid, 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 you know, I don't know. Clarifies uneven skin tone and stubborn spots, reveals smoother, radiant, and younger looking skin. Great. It has 10% of the azelaic acid like active and then also has niacinamide. And if you know, you know. Niacinamide is actually great for lightening the scars um, and skin renewal. I, I love it so much. After I get out the shower and I'm doing my usual, like putting lotion on my body, whatever, I would put this on, on the bikini area and go about my way. So that would like be my routine. And then if I wanted to change it up, 
Other days I would do the kojic acid, of course, and then I would go with the mandelic acid. And mandelic acid, like I've used this on my spot treatments on my face, this had, helps reduce the appearance of hyperpigmentation and discoloration. I got this from the Inky List. I've had good results with using both of these on my face, so I thought, why not try <laughs> my bikini line? Doesn't everyone have that same through line, you know? And then, the days that I wax, I did not use any of these because acids on that very fresh skin, not a good idea. But I did go in with the oils, which is things that I used to use in the past. I got the proof here. This is a little sample bottle from Fur. You can't even see because I had it so long and it's scraped off. This is what I would use post wax treatment or post shaving. And this oil is one of those like ingrown prevention, irritation, lessening of the redness, etc. So it's perfect for post post waxing, post um, shaving. Definitely don't go in with any acids, but you can use something like an oil that's a little bit more gentle and healing. And as you can see, I use this pretty much all up. Beginning of the year up until now with a little break with the kojic acid. When I wasn't using the kojic acid, I would go in with um, still those other topicals instead. Okay, what's the verdict? Did it actually work or not? I had a solid routine, but here's the truth. Kind of? It takes a long time. Spots were lighter. It was not a magical fix. It was not a miracle worker. It was not an overnight sensation at all. And I was like, dang. So now that was midsummer. Now at the end of summer, what do I got to say? It's kind of like, all right, like this is something. It's not nothing. Like the, the marks didn't get darker because I know that can happen to some people. Marks did not get darker, so I know I'm using the right products. They did not completely vanish. They are lighter, though. Is it the results that I wanted? No, but I'm like, is it just that it has to be in the long haul? Maybe. Maybe I'm going to have to check back in in December and I'll have something else to say. I'm a harsh critic, but I'd rather be more realistic because a lot of people out there are like, latest, greatest, best, you must, like this is, oh my gosh, da 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 and maybe it has been for them. I think it's gonna take way more than people let on, so that's why I'm doing this video. Yes, I'm seeing results. Are they massive? No, but I am gonna continue to use this because I am curious to just make it to the end of the year. I do feel like I have a solid routine, so if you are looking for a routine of sorts, I would say try the Kojic Acid, and then depending on what type of topical you're interested in or that you have already lying around your house, do some research and then add that in as your like next step in your routine. And I also want to say too that every, everyone's area is a little different. And some of the things are just going to be like, um, what do you say? Like the pore where your hair is coming out. I don't know what these words are, but that that's not going to ever like uh, disappear. Like that's not going to lighten. Like, some people have a wider range of that. Others have a thinner spot. I would say I have more of an area so I'm aware that that's never gonna go away but the dark spots that I do have I would like those to definitely be a little bit lighter or actually no sorry I want those to be majorly lighter and they're now like a little bit lighter so I'm still on the journey but I wanted to share this video I think a lot more people are on the same journey as me but what we see reflected back at us is not the same thing so then we see all those reviews of people being like this thing's the best thing ever oh my gosh and then we run out and don't have those same results and then we're like what so hey I'll be the person that's like let me give it to you real. Comment down below what you are using in your bikini routine. If it works for you, if it is lightening the scars, does it take you forever? If it really took you like two weeks and like live your life, like I believe you. All right. <laughs> I hope that was, hope that was very motivating. <laughs> anyway, thanks y'all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.